Hi guys, it's Rohan. You're watching Making Up Movie Idea on the Spot. Sorry if you hear sirens in the background. There they are. You know, they've been going off for the last few minutes. I live in New York City. So, if this is your first time watching one of these videos, basically what I do is I pick randomly one genre, one place, and three other items, and I have to come up with a movie idea on the spot. I try to get as detailed as I can. Usually it's mostly just the first the beginning and towards the end and kind of maybe the middle a little bit but I don't get into specific scenes unless I do and I've been trying to have more fun with it lately and we'll see how it goes so here we are with the genre I've been getting drama a lot is the genre drama and genre are similar or just how I say it I have a little bit of an accent a New York accent Something happened close because that's been going on. Romantic comedy. So I am, I, a lot of my ideas I've written down, like in my notebook of ideas, are romantic comedies. But for some reason so far when I've been doing these videos, the one I've got in romance, which I think was like twice, I did not come up with the best of ideas. Because a lot of my romantic comedies I come up with, it's like a s idea that sparks it. So it's kind of hard to come up with the romantic comedies on the spot without being like cliche in a way. Because the ideas I were coming up with were in a little bit cliche and not that interesting. But I'll try my best. Okay, here's the place. Sorry. New York City! How perfect is that? Because I live in New York City and... Sirens. Honestly, at the beginning of the coronavirus pandemic, it was every so often hearing the sirens. It was so bad. It's been better. <laughs> Here are the other items. Please, for good, something good that can help me. <gasps> um. Okay, here's two, three. <laughs> we have a gym. It's like a gym. Dodgeball and travel. Okay, so a romantic comedy that takes place in New York City, but it has to do with something with a gym and dodgeball. It also has to do with travel. Oh, it could be like a travel dodgeball league and not actually traveling because this takes place in New York City. The, there was that underdog movie, what is it called, underdog, that had to do with dodgeball? And it's making me think of this, but we're not going to go into that direction. So I came up with an idea, <laughs> I don't know how good it would be, but it's about this woman, finally a female lead, 20s. She travels a lot around America, she like doesn't know what she wants to do with her life, kind of in a situation, she's kind of lost and she's just kind of traveling the country and she comes to New York City because she's all around America and everyone comes to New York City like it's New York City and so she she goes to a gym because although she you know travels the world doesn't know what she wants to do well travels the country whatever she doesn't know what she wants to do in life she's someone who's very active and loves working out and everything and so she always works out and goes to the gym so she goes to this gym and she meets it of course this guy hits on her because um it's gyms and guys hit on girls at gyms i don't know i'm never gonna hit on by any guy at gym because but then again it's me so no guys ever hit on me um and 
but she sees this flyer thing for dodgeball and she's like oh where I grew up we didn't have dodgeball but I've always like heard of it and was interested by it and everything and they have this big dodgeball competition coming up and she's like saying how she's like maybe I'll stay in New York City and you know do this and of course the guy likes her so he's like yeah like I played dodgeball before like I can help you out we can have a team I don't know how many people have to be on team like six eight or something and so he like helps her out and gets some people to be on the team who doesn't actually want to be on the team <laughs> um but he kind of in a way compels them or manipulates them or blackmails them or whatever to join the team and so they could have like cute training montage and like it turns out she's like she's athletic and everything but she's really bad at dodgeball <laughs> and uh, everyone else is like but she's like so into it it's so funny and she's like i think this could be my calling like this is what i could be looking for and they're just like but they train at the gym and and everything and eventually she starts getting a little bit better she's not like amazing but she gets okay and so they start having they start having the leaks but they they're not she, she realizes she's not that good and it's a thing where she's losing but she still she likes it so much she wants to keep going and everything and she starts wondering if she could have like a career in dodgeball like maybe not as like professional dodgeball person but to do something in the realm of dodgeball like maybe she goes to dodgeball events and writes about it or something i don't even know <sighs> i was giving dodgeball and i'm using it so i'm using it guys okay <laughs> but they keep going and they keep getting bad and then maybe they come to a point where someone says something to her she realizes that she doesn't have it she doesn't have what it takes she can't do this and she feels lost and she she wants to go travel again so she starts traveling the country and this guy comes after her who's in love with her and tells her about how it's it doesn't matter how good you are and everything like if it makes you happy then you can continue doing it and you in a way you were looking for what you wanted in life and you found it and something that people be like why is that your purpose in life but you found it and I mean this doesn't sound really that much like a romantic comedy but there's more romance of Emma and so like maybe he takes her on dates during when it's happening like when they're training everything and she just thinks that it's meetings to help the team but he sees it more as dates so it could be kind of funny in that way and so he, he brings her back and she does this dodgeball they do this dodgeball thing and she meets someone from like the national dodgeball league or whatever it's called i don't know what it is and she gets a job there and, and everything and it takes place in new york city and she finally realizes that this guy's meant for her and they kiss and it's amazing so that was a little bit of a dumb idea i'm not gonna lie but when you're given dodgeball you gotta go with it I did have the travel, I did have it, they meet in a gym, they train in a gym, so it does have a gym, it takes place mostly in New York City, and yeah, I mean, the romance is there in a way, he, he, he did this whole team just so he could spend time with her and be with her and everything, and the end she realizes that he's kind of she came to the city looking for her life and as though she found it in dodgeball she also found it in him and that he is also her home yeah it's a little bit of a dumb idea <laughs> but you gotta go with what you're given you gotta go with what you're giving so thank you guys for watching um comment below if you like this idea comment below other items you want me to add to my item list um, thank you guys for watching, like, comment, subscribe, love you guys, and bye.